The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, a barometer of life. So before I get started on what the IUCN Red List is, let me first talk about the IUCN. IUCN stands for the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. IUCN is the global authority on the status of the natural world and the measures needed to safeguard it. So what is the IUCN Red List? The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species has evolved to become the world's most comprehensive information source on the global extinction risk status of animals, fungus and plant species. The IUCN Red List is a critical indicator of the health of the world's biodiversity. Far more than a list of species and their status, it is a powerful tool to inform and catalyse action for biodiversity conservation and policy change critical to protecting the natural resources we need to survive. It provides information about range, population size, habitat and ecology, use and or trade, threats and conservation action that will help inform necessary conservation decisions. Species are sorted into the following nine categories, not evaluated, data deficient, least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild and extinct. Assessments are carried out on species by IUCN Red List assessors. All of the information about the species is evaluated against strict criteria leading to a category being assigned. Alongside the category, it states what criteria the species met in order to be placed in that category. Here is an example of an animal's listing on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The species I have chosen is a particular favourite of mine, Carcharodon carcarius, the white shark. Straight away, one can see the common and scientific names and clearly see the category the animal meets. This species met the criteria A2BD, which means it is categorised as vulnerable due to population size reduction. The different letters refer to which sub-criteria were met. White shark Carcharodon carcarius has most recently been assessed for the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species in 2018. It is listed as vulnerable under criteria A2BD. So you can also see information here about the green status assessment and you can see the population trend is decreasing as well as a geographic range map. Extant is used meaning to exist as opposed to extinct meaning not to exist. There is also information about the taxonomy, a clear indicator of where they are on the scale towards extinction, as well as further information about their category and criteria which was met. There is then further information about the green status assessment showing their numbers are moderately depleted. There is also a species recovery store and that was published in 2021. So there is now a list of their geographic range where they are and where they are possibly thought to be. So this shows you all of the places where you may come across the white shark. So it is a very long list, which is good news. It also shows you their upper depth limit and lower depth limit, as well as more information about their range. You can get more information on their geographic range and various ranges and various parts of the website. There is always a click option button for more detail. So there is more detail here about their spatial units, their habitat and ecology as well as their generation length and their ecological function, as well as threats faced by the species. So that is an IUCN red listing. You can see it is absolutely packed full of information and it is a great resource to use when trying to learn about a species because there is a lot of information gathered on there. So that was the white shark. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something and this has helped to explain the IUCN Red List to you. It has been a pleasure having you here. If you did like the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications to see what else is coming on this channel. Any comments, let me know down below. I'd love to hear.